Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us for Thursday Night Football. It's great to be back in Docklands, where it seems like the only thing that grows here is the crime rate. Players won't be able to rely on the crowd for support. There's just not that many of them. Accompanying me is Matthew Richardson. Thanks, Dennis. I'm glad to be here tonight. Tonight, Richmond and the Swans. Banners ready for the players. The home team comes onto the ground and the crowd erupts. Banners ready for the players. Umpire tosses the coin. Well, they say patience is a virtue, but if we wait any longer for the siren to kick things off, I'm sure this crowd will get a little unruly and maybe take matters into their own hands. We're underway. Naismith, with the punch, takes control of the bouncing ball. Rioli takes an uncontested mark, puts the kick on the wing. Marked by Caddy, takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies, just get them in flying formation. Caddy slams one on the boot for goal. That ball's travelling, sends it home with a mighty kick. Richmond get a goal on the board first. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. The bounce, laser straight. Man Curtis with a big fist on it. Caddy with the football, kicks. Aaliyah has it. Puts boot to ball. Strong mark. Rampy has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. Rioli just flattened him. Lambert with the spoil. Rowan has given away a free kick. Nan Curvis slams the ball to his boot. He takes the contested mark. Miles feeds it wide. Lloyd gets the upper hand. A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goals. He's kicking on about a 30-degree angle, which could prove challenging. The Tigers by seven points. He's looking for options now. Aaliyah looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Strong mark. Picked by Miles. Wins the hardball. Kicks it. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. The Tigers could gaining a lot of the advantage through some smart kicks and even better marks inside their forward 50. Rampy sharks the ball away. He gets his hands on the footy. Mills marks it. Sending it on its way. Nay Smith marks the ball. Jams it on the boot. The contest, no match for him. McIntosh with the kick. He takes a strong mark. Kicks. Almost a mark, but it bounces off his chest. He takes the shot. I see it, but I don't believe it. Sydney with their first goal. Sydney have been really predictable out there. They need to mix it up, break the line, start taking more of a chance, or this game will be lost. Rams gets the interception on the bounce. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. That kick held up in the win. Jack pulls the trigger with the ball sailing for goal. Conker onto the ball. He shows the quick hands. Lloyd soccers it. That play is as high tech as it can for. Tackle, but gets the handball off. What did you make of the first term, Richard? 
They're in front and they deserve to be in front. They stepped up in all areas and really made their opposition look second rate. Richo, how well are these teams performing? Richmond way out in front of Sydney with the possessions. 65% next to their name. Richmond breaking up plenty of handballs at the moment. Nine on the board, leaving Sydney in their wake with two. Not much difference between the way these two teams are kicking. Both fairly even on 12 and 10. Neither team are giving an inch in the terms of marking. The Tigers on eight and Sydney on seven. Thanks for that, Richo. Let's go back to the action. Set your goals high and don't stop till you get there. Good tap from Nankervis. Rioli with the football. Handball short. Hampson feeds it wide. McVeigh had no chance, but at least he made an attempt. Down goes Grundy. Richo, can you tell us more on that? He looks to be in a lot of pain. He'll be going off now, definitely. He wins the contest. Kicks towards the middle of the ground. Nankervis got under it. Sends the Sharon on its way. Nice mark there. Paddy takes a lot of marks during a game, but a lot of them seem to be juggled. If he can just get cleaner hands on the ball, it's just going to give his opponents less chance to spoil in the contest. Lloyd has a kick. It's in the air. Lloyd with a long goal. Richmond by seven points. All is in readiness. Bounce goes the ball. Nankervis with the hit. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. And the mark will be paid. He steadies now in front of goal. Flustin with a fairly straight shot at goal. Going for goal number one. Hey, come on, that post has feelings too. Richmond by eight points. Smith waiting to bring it back into play. He plays on with a little kick. Oh, he's given that to up an almighty thump. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Rampy putting some power behind that one. Kachin up. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Nice hands. The wind helping that kick. Drops the ball. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. He misses the mark. Rampy comes in like a wrecking ball. His foot finds the ball and brings it out of the pack. Caddy has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. 45 meters out. Bumps the pigskin. Floston claims it. He steadies now in front of goal. 40 meters out. Floston tries his luck with a shot at goal. Lloyd. Out of bounds it goes. Into the game comes Karcher. The ball is in the air. Hampson without a touch. The clearance by Naismith. He's got a free kick. He kicks it. Bing, bang, stick that in. Thanks for coming. The Tigers leads by 14. Umpire has the ball. Ready for the center bounce. Punched by Hampson. Edwards with a big bump to Grundy. Goes short with a hand pass. The wind helping that kick. Franklin gets the upper hand. He's on a 30 degree angle. Going for goal number one. That was a long kick for goal. Sydney trailing by less than two goals. They're still in this. How did you see that last quarter, Richo? The Tigers are playing well. But even if they are on the right track, they'll get run over if they just sit there in the second half. So they need to go into the rooms at half time and sit and look at ways that they can improve. Here's Richo with his stats. Not much difference between the way these two teams are kicking. Both fairly even on 24 and 19. The Tigers are dominating the possessions and that's really reflected on the stat sheet. 65% to 35%. Cheers, Richo. It's half time, which means everyone gets a break, even me. A nice long half time break, and we're ready for another half of footy. It will be interesting to see what changes, if any, the coaches make for the second half of the match. Tapped by Towers. The spilled ball is collected. Butler claims the ball. The wind carries the kick. 
Aaliyah claims it. Aaliyah. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. Rampy boots it. Nay Smith with the ball. Nice bit of power then. Papley with real good use of the body. He kicks the ball. Conker has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Kicks. Great grab. Gets boot to leather. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Kicks. Floston got under it. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. A set shot on a 30 degree angle. Caddy claims the ball. 40 meters out. Going for goal number two. He'll be happy with that. Richmond in front. Paddy seems like he's enjoying his footy. I think he's going to be around for a long time. The ball is bounced. Clean tap by Nan Kerbis. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. He's got more tricks than David Copperfield. Naismith with a big fist on it takes control of the bouncing ball. Nan Kerbis hitting him. Watch his style. He holds his breath. That kick was gigantic. Great goal. I'm sure we'll look back and exaggerate the distance in years to come. The lead has been increased by Nan Kerbis. The ball bouncing well. Hit by Hampson. Lloyd gets a nice bump from Caddy. Gets the ball free. Naismith slams it on the boot. Simply outplayed the opposition there. A spearing kick from McIntosh. He misses the mark. Cochin has played a shocker. He's like a long jumper who can't reach the sand. And the mark will be paid. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Booted by Butler. Lloyd takes the mark. Lloyd aiming for the goals. All eyes are watching. I don't know if you can see it from back there, but it's a goal. He's giving it all he's got this match. That's number three. Lloyd puts them further in front. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Franklin punches it. Rans is able to grab it on the half volley. Handballs. Martin mistimes the handball. Sockers the ball away. Good tap from Franklin. Scoops up the ball. The ball picked up. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. Well, Dennis, I just think he's having fun with them now. He gets his hands on the footy. He gets his hands on the footy. Hampson with another possession. Hampson totally outclassed in that contest. Richard, what do you think about that? But Sydney, the only way I see for them to overcome is to hang on. Let's check out the stats. Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close. Locked horns in the tackle contests. 11 to date. Uh, that's a unique spin on things, Richo. The players are starting to feel the strain of the first three quarters now. You can't just beat a team. You have to leave a lasting impression in their minds so that they never want to see you again. Nicely intercepted by Canterbury. Marsh with the ball. Nice hands. Jams it on the boot. Nice contested mark by Papley. Kicks it. And the mark will be paid. That came off the boot with huge power. Out of bounds near the 50. The umpire will throw it in. The ball has been thrown in. One down by Nan Kerbis. Puts the kick on the win. Franklin decisively. He kicks quickly. Haywood gets the tap. Able to grab it on the half volley. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Mills wins the marking contest. The Swans haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. Hampson handballs to space. He's blocked it. He'll get a free kick. Slams it on the boot. Brig marks. Kicks into the win. Well, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Sends it on its way. Caddy has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. 
45 meters out. A pretty safe bet from this position. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. The Tigers get the scoreboard ticking over with that goal. Good things come in threes. That's his third. The lead has been increased by Caddy. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Naismith. Leave the pinatas for the kids. He smashes and bashes in. A favorable bounce. Caddy feeds the hand pass out. Approaching the goals now. That was a huge kick. Malcolm Blight would be happy with that one. The pressure continues to mount with that goal from Caddy. The Tigers were just really comfortable kicking for goal on the run because it's just an extension of their normal field kicking and they have absolutely no issues there. Ransko, I've got no idea how he managed to get that out. Caddy taps it. Caddy throws it, clear as day. Puts boot to ball. Jack claims the ball. Picture perfect drop punt. Hewitt has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Jams it on the boot now. And the mark will be paid. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. But the Swans' forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Sends it home with a huge kick. Reed slots through a much needed goal. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Guided by Hampson, he gets his hands on the footy. Lovely hand pass, hits the man. Caddy heads in for the goals. Floston with the mighty fist. Listen, here's the thing. This game was over before it began, and I don't think there's anything further I can add that will shed light on this outcome. Very one-sided. Richo, did you enjoy the matchup between Richmond and the Swans? The difference between a successful team and others is not a lack of strength, not a lack of knowledge, often a lack of will. Thanks for that, Richo. The final scores stand at Richmond 50, Sydney 18. Thanks for joining us, Richard, but that's all we have time for. Thanks, Dennis. Until next time, that's it. <laughs>